This is a demo of the new Kerberos SDR Android app features. First of all, on the top, you can see that there is a heat map. And on the bottom, there is a navigation window. But currently, the app is navigating to the black dot that is highlighted right now. But over time, once we collect enough data, it will eventually navigate to the estimated uh, transmitter location. Just for this demonstration, I've actually highlighted the actual transmitter location with uh, a marker point. The total drive time to locate this transmitter was about 25 minutes, so now we're going to go into time-lapse mode. So on the top part, the blue line indicates the estimated uh, direction to the transmitter, and the red line indicates the uh, driving direction. So right now you can see that it's not pointing exactly towards the transmitter, and that's just due to multipath and the fact that we're driving right now in a valley with a really bad um, reception. Now that we're out of that valley, we can see that the blue line begins to snap back to the actual transmitter location. On the top heat map part at the moment, you can see that there's a red circle. This red circle is currently red because it indicates that we don't have enough data yet to get a precise location for the transmitter. Over time, it will keep on moving and updating as we gather more data. And eventually, once we get enough data, it will turn green, indicating that the app thinks that we have enough data to precisely locate the transmitter. As we drive, you can see that the black navigation dot updates as the blue transmitter bearing line moves. Every two minutes, the navigation screen below will reroute to the current location of the black dot. So right now the navigation is taking us past the known transmitter location because it is not yet confident enough. Uh, so the blue bearing line continues to point towards the transmitter, um, gathering more data. So here the red circle is just about to turn green, indicating that there is now enough data to estimate the transmitter location confidently. Soon the navigation will update and begin navigating us to the green circle. So again, we're now in a bit of a valley, so a multipath signal becomes dominant, causing the blue line to drift away. But as we drive back, it will begin pointing in the correct direction again. The navigation has taken us to a point about 150 meters away from the actual transmitter tower and right now I'm just going around looking for a parking spot um, where I can stop and show the transmit towers. And I think I'll just speed this part up a bit as I took a wrong turn and took the wrong way, uh, the long way around the building. I've just put a red arrow here to highlight the fact that we're about 150 meters away from the estimated transmitter location. And here now you can see that um, I'm pointing up at the antennas on top of these buildings and it's either that building on the left or this building on the right over there, which both have antennas. And finally this is just a screenshot of the app showing how close the estimated location was to the actual transmitter location.